Right, so I was supposed to uh, go sailing today, but the weather is pretty shit and it's really hard to get out of this harbor when the wind is facing the entrance. So I've been working on the boat and I had lots of questions after my last video about the boat, about this rounded bow that is uh, quite special. So I wanted to give you a bit of uh, explanation of why uh, the boat looks like this and not like the one next to it or the one next to it here. Uh, which have a pointy bow like most boats. So this one, the bow is rounded. So this is a, a shape that is not new, It's it's been uh, years. Right, too much wind outside to uh, get proper audio. So yeah, this rounded bow, uh, they've been around for centuries. Uh, I've, I found footage of really old uh, wooden boats that were planning uh, kind of old 49ers already with a really rounded uh, bow. The idea uh, behind this is mainly uh, two things. First, the part of the, of the boat that is touching the water. So in the mini class, the boat should be 6.5 meter uh, maximum from the, the transom to uh, the tip of the bow. So here, the water, the, the boat is in the water up to here more or less. When on the pointy bow, the water goes all the way until 6.5 meters. But by reducing the amount of, wa of uh, boat, of hull that is constantly touching the water, you reduce drag. So um, in some cases this can be a disadvantage, but on a light boat like this, it's good to uh, reduce drag so you can go faster planning. Uh, people say that they will be less efficient going upwind because what you want when you go upwind is to have as much uh, water line possible so the boat goes uh, through the water uh, easier that's why a bigger boat in general tend, tend to um, have, a, have a better speed uh, upwind but in the case of the Maxi the speed test with us boat show that there isn't a, a huge uh, difference um, the second thing with this rounded bow is that uh, the, the, the boat, instead of going through the wave, goes above the waves. So yeah, it improves uh, planning performance so the boat can surf better and that's really what you want for a boat that is built uh, for the trends that is huge uh, speed on a, on a beam ridge to, to downwind condition. And, um, and last but not least, it's one thing that can seem uh, not that important but uh, these boats are much more dry than uh, the equivalent with a pointy bow um, and this means more uh, comfort if you're not wet all the time and on the long term on the offshore race uh, being less wet on a long amount of time means that you can be more uh, competitive so yeah if you if you look at the evolution of, of boats like for example the Imoka that are designed to be single-handed or really long distances the Imoka class boat of the Vendée Globe uh, the boat like uh, the one of Alex Thompson or the new the new Hugo Boss or most of the new designs they design with like cockpits really protected so you don't have to be wet all the time and this improves your performance of course and, uh, and for this scout, uh, you see that they uh, start appearing on the class 40 and kind of on the Imoka class as well, even if the, 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 the rule of the class doesn't allow such an extremist shape as on the Mini, but they developing, so yeah, they, they kind of, uh, the, the way to go forward. Um, for offshore racing boats, uh, if you believe the design and uh, that, that are going out, uh, nowadays and the ones that also are winning the races 
And, um, and yeah, so if you want more information, I'll put it in the description. But the, the architect is David Raison, is the one designing lots of winning boats uh, recently. And, um, and yeah, it's the IDB Marine uh, Shipyard. And yeah, you can check all this online. Yeah, let's have a look at the rudders and uh, also the name. I did not choose the name, but I still find it pretty funny. So yeah, rudders and all the hull. The hull. All the hull is really uh, smooth. There is nothing. There's not even a, a speed lock. Um, so yeah, that's the idea is to improve the ability of the boat to glide. Yeah. In terms of uh, characteristic, the boat is 1.6 meter draft, 3 meter wide, and 6.5 uh, meter long. So. Yeah, and it weighs around 900 kilogram, 900 kilogram, yeah, um, without all the equipment in it. So yeah, pretty light boat and really fast. Let's go in. Yeah, I'm now in the cockpit and lots of you have asked me if it was a pogo. So no, this is not a pogo, it's a maxi. So all the minis are divided in two uh, categories, the prototype and the series. All the minis have to follow a certain set of rules, uh, meaning 6.5 meter maximum, 3 meter wide uh, maximum, etc, etc. The rules are slightly different for prototypes and for series, for example prototypes uh, can have foils, they can have uh, dagger boards, they can have carbon, uh, the rules are a bit different for Siri boats and uh, there is different Siri boats that are allowed so Pogo 3 are one type and the Maxi 650 is another one and that's my boat. I'll give you a tour of the deck uh, another day while, while sailing. Now I have some fixing to do inside. Bah ouais, parce que c'est quand même vachement mieux, il va aller là du coup. Ouais. Comme ça. Ça va être pas mal. Je pense que ça va être pas mal. Donc l'hydrogénérateur c'est pour euh, fabriquer l'électricité euh, pour euh, prendre le relais des panneaux. Par exemple la nuit, quand il n'y a pas de soleil. Et, euh, et c'est top. So yeah, this is um, the hydro generator, so it's, it's basically a windmill, but for the water. Uh, on this goes uh, a propeller, you put it in the water, the boat moves through the water, propeller uh, moves a generator that is inside this, and it's really efficient. Uh, basically, I think with these boats and this uh, generator, at 4 knots uh, of boat speed, you lose I think 0.4 knots and at above 7 or 7.5 seven knots uh, of boat speed you don't lose any speed um, so it's just pure energy creating without any loss uh, on performance so it's really good more and more uh, cruising boats are also uh, going for this uh, option it's really good because it's really powerful the only thing is that when you're chilling at Anchorage, it doesn't charge. So that's the only con of this uh, of this system. But yeah, so it's really good. The bon Loire Atlantic, hein? Tu kiffes bosser sous la pluie? Oui, oui. Tout pareil que les tropiques. On s'y croirait. On s'y croirait. l'activité les filles là Qu'est-ce que vous allez me faire faire Des matages. Ok. Ok d'accord. En quoi Deux minutes. Deux minutes. Donc on va utiliser les deux bateaux à côté là. Ça marche. Bon bah ok.
and yeah, tomorrow going back training if the weather allows and much more to come. Stay positive.